Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. The beginning of today's episode I would like to dedicate towards a nuclear plant, I also got a mod for that. The mod is called Dowell Nuclear Power Plant and it essentially gives you a bunch of decorative buildings in order to go with your nuclear power plant. So what I'm guessing we can do is just build this building here and then add a whole bunch of assets to it, make it look a little more realistic with all these silos and then we have the pipes and everything. Problem is just everything needs to be built along a roadside so that might be difficult. But check this out, this is really cool I have to admit. A nuclear power plant is producing 640 megawatts. Actually, that is not a lot, is it? I guess over time we would want two of them. Now, where could we have our nuclear power plant set up? I wonder, I, I need to check something. Let me go on the internet quickly. Because most electricity is used in the cities, a nuclear power plant, unlike wind or solar, can be built pretty much anywhere and transmitting electricity over great distances causing some of the energy to be lost to friction, most of the plants are logically located near large urban areas. Also here I can see a Google pick with some inspiration, I think this is not a bad guideline here. This means we probably don't have enough space here, it is also pretty close to a dense populated area. What if we added the power plant maybe here? Sure, why not? I'm actually gonna use the entirety of this place to build some type of an industry that belongs to the nuclear power plant. Oh, we seem to have a death problem at the moment. <laughs> Let me quickly go ahead and unlock this tile, we're gonna need you. Okay, let's get things started with a main road. I'm just gonna take one large road that is supposed to be our main road where people would be coming from and then we can go inwards. I wonder if it's worth terraforming a little bit. I mean, just smoothing it out maybe. Let me get rid of that briefly. I'm gonna go to the highest brush, smooth everything out. Yeah, I think I first have to adapt a few things here before we can smooth it out really. I mean, I don't wanna make this completely flat. It will probably look unrealistic. However, I would imagine for a nuclear power plant, the terrain might be flattened. Alright, that already looks much better, but it is not out of place. Now let's add a bunch of side roads going in, and these should be normal sized. So we're gonna have one road going in, then maybe one going out like so. Let's not exaggerate, and I also want to make this perfectly 135 degrees. Then let's have a brief look at the buildings. What could we do here? Hmm... We're gonna need some small and insignificant buildings here, yeah, something like that, or, no, that's too large. A bunch of these are also gonna do, and holy cow, what is this? Oh, that must be a mistake. So I'm actually gonna have one large building here, and I'm still going with the picture that I showed you before. And then I want a smaller building here, and then we're gonna have some of these ventilator buildings. And we also want roads or pathways in between, so let's place a bunch of these, like so. We're gonna go for some pathways in order to connect this up. Yeah, this is almost exactly how it looks on the picture. Not really, but still. Now we're gonna get to the meat of this by connecting that up. Okay, so we did the first part. The meat obviously is the nuclear power plant itself. So I'm probably gonna have that right here, costing me 200k. Okay, 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 take it easy. Then we're gonna need an additional building here. I wonder, do these guys cost me anything? Wait, can I select them? I cannot select these buildings, but I can destroy them. Okay, so I, I guess they're just props. That is a little bit of a bummer that the buildings actually don't have a functionality, but still makes the nuclear power plant look much better, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, I would definitely say so. I need more space. Jeez, I need a little more space. Now let me do this slightly differently. Wanna do 135 degrees, like so, but then we are gonna do another one into this direction, and it also needs to be 135 degrees. And now here we can make a really nice symmetrical setup with these huge silos. I'm actually not sure what they are called. They must have a different name. I know what they're called in German, but feel free to let me know what they're called in English. I mean, in the game it's called a cooling tower here, but that sounds extremely lame if you ask me. Okay, now let's see how we could implement a bunch of these. They still need to be alongside a road. That is kind of a problem. So they don't really act like props. Yeah, that does not really make sense. How can I connect buildings? For instance, if I have that here, this is not connecting. Can I connect to this building, for instance? No, there's still a little gap there. So maybe we're just gonna have them every now and then in order to spice things up a little bit. Uh, what is this? This probably needs to go on top of water. 
But it's still a cool element we could implement right here and just set up another pathway next to it. Let me quickly do that. I'm gonna have another pathway here. And now I would like to set up some parking spots, maybe right here. Actually, this means this needs to be a normal road. I wanna have these large dark parkings. Now let me see, uh, how many can we possibly fit? Three with pathways. Oh yes. Pathways connecting here and connecting there. Very nice. Now I wonder, could we get one of these reactors in here and what is the difference between the two? Oh, they actually have some pipes sticking out, don't they? Let me go ahead and build another parallel road. Pa parallel. And what I wanted to see here was these two buildings. Uh, ah, nice. Okay, they are actually symmetrical. That is nice. Can I put some pipes in between now? That would be great. Yes. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. What about another small building here to fill this up? What is this even? Oh, that's actually nice. We can fit this almost uh, perfectly in here. I like that. Ooh, okay. Was that a real building finally? Nice. Okay. This seems to be the main building that is actually responsible for the power output. And I can also select that. You can see 8,000 a week. That is going to be quite costly. And I think that also means we could potentially shut this down until we need the energy. But my goal is to run most of the city on this nuclear plant. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's see what else we need. We need a whole bunch more buildings, that's for sure. Man, I really wish I could get another one of these buildings in the joint. Maybe, just maybe, if we expand this road, then go back to here. We can set it up, indeed. This here I'm gonna leave free for some decorations and props. And then we want another parking space area right here. So let's drag another road all the way across and we're gonna do some more parking spaces. But before we do that, I have to flatten the area a little bit. We wanna go with this height and uh, please, not enough soil. Oh my gosh, this game is killing me sometimes. Okay, I guess this is gonna work out, at least for the upper part here. We can set up a bunch of parking spaces. I wanna start here with maybe four. Yeah, that is actually perfect. We just need some kind of a fence around it or something. Then we are going back to the prop buildings and I would like to have more pipes. No, they don't fit here. Maybe some more nuclear fans could be good and we can also connect these with pathways. One pathway for you going up here. Oh yes. I'm so glad when the snapping actually works together with you and not against you. Right here, however, I think we have the space for some pipes. So let's set up pipes. Yes. One for you. And we already don't have the space for a second one. I wonder if this mod intended us to use the move it tool in order to make the pipes nicer. Like, I want to test this out right here. What if I just... I mean, it's a prop, right? I can move it around as I please. So we could, for instance, move these pipes into the building, making them look a little bit more realistic. And then we can possibly hook these pipes up together. This is going to be pushed against the wall. Hmm. I mean, from the top, it already looks better. There's definitely a possibility to treat them as such. So uh, maybe we can bring these together. Gonna bring this a little bit up and bring this a little bit up. And there we go. This might make more sense from a visual standpoint. Honestly, this still doesn't feel complete. On the reference image that I'm using, there are two large buildings here in a similar shape as this one. So I think I want to achieve that as well. And I also want to have a building here. Maybe two of these buildings here. Uh, let me see which orientation. Yeah, okay, that's the good orientation. And then these guys, they snap to the road like so. So we can have maybe three of them here. Yeah, I'm just gonna start a road like so. We can hook it up to here though this is going to be a very short intersection though it doesn't really matter here i don't think there's going to be tons of traffic and then this here we have to move around a little bit first uh, get out of the way i'm gonna connect this gonna connect this and then we move everything back okay very nice let's get back to building i want to leave enough space for a pathway in between so we're probably gonna space these out like so uh, actually, instead of a pathway, I would be interested in more piping systems. So maybe if I set up a piping system here, I can just move it over. I could, for instance, add it like so. It wraps nicely around the silo. And then we do a similar thing on the other side, though. I'm gonna need the one that is mirrored. Yes. So you will be coming over here. And then the mirrored version we can have on the other side in order to connect these. 
it's not quite adding up with the distance, so we'll have to move things around slightly. Maybe now I will be able to connect these, like so. And now at least the pipes look somewhat connected. Yeah, I kind of like that, so let's move that over as well. And we're gonna add another one of those. I just want to make sure that the silo doesn't clip. Actually, this needs to go a little further in here. Hopefully that's gonna work out. I mean, it does look quite realistic from the top now. Same thing right here, that added up nicely. These pipes go underground, so that is realistic as well. I just don't want any loose ends that would be preferred. Next up, let's continue the road. And we also want to connect this with a smaller road. Like, so. Or should we continue? Ah, oh, maybe we could continue the large one here. So we end up with something like this. Yes, I like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to continue this a bit, add one of you. And then on the other side, we are coming back like so. So it also looks like they can access the parking from this side, even though technically that's not possible. I'm also gonna continue this a bit and add another intersection here. This is gonna leave us a little bit of space for smaller props. And then I would like to connect this with a large road right here. So we have a little bit of a similar setup on both sides. Dude, I wonder, could I get one of these in the joint? That would actually be amazing. I just have to have enough space in the beginning and then we can add it. Oh, I just noticed this is four spaces wide. So I think I'm just going to add it like so. And now we have to fix the terrain a little bit. So we either bring this a little further up. Ah, I guess that's already good. And then these pillars are just being extended. So that's somewhat convenient. Gonna continue this road like so. And in here we can uh, possibly have another reactor, something like this. And this is already connecting. So no tubing required. Yeah, I think with that out of the way, we have all the props we want to place. Uh, maybe there's a space for something else. But you know, I don't want to exaggerate with all the buildings. On the other side, having the possibility to add another functional building eventually. I mean, we can turn this off as long as we don't need it. For instance, we probably don't want this turned on already. We're just gonna leave the mod power plant running. And then if I remove some of the road here, we could potentially add another one, like so, and just expand the road to make it fit. Something like this. And then I'm also gonna shut this off, and eventually, once we need more power, we can enable these buildings. And this should hopefully suffice for quite a while. The next thing we're gonna need, of course, is a way from the highway to access that. I'm not sure if a cargo station is necessary. I don't think so. We're just gonna let the trucks do the deliveries if necessary. And to make this easier on us, I just wanna have it aligned. And we're gonna have something like that. Eventually, that's supposed to become a custom intersection, of course. We're gonna continue with two lanes here each. And we wanna go into this direction. Maybe add one here and then add one there. Okay, I can actually live with that. Now we're gonna remove this and of course, we're just gonna hook it up in a convenient way right now. So I guess do that and do that. And uh, there we go. Wonky, but functional. Okay, now this belongs to the grid. Let me actually check the power. Looks like only the cooling towers and the nuclear plants are carrying the power. But that is fine. We just have to bring it all the way up to anything, really, because the rest of the city is connected. And now I would suggest I'm taking away the triggering power line here. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. I'm sorry to see you go. Another thing I noticed uh, that I'm gonna fix once we detail this part, uh, the tower is not in the best position. <laughs> I mean, the planes don't collide, they usually take a turn right after starting, but still, maybe something to consider. Now, let me quickly unpause the game. I wanna know- wait, they probably need water as well, don't they? There we go, hooked up to the water, let's see how much output- 2500 and- okay, okay, I take everything back. Like, insane! Wow, okay, that means we can get rid of the ugly power stuff that we don't want. For instance, these guys. I mean, I only really placed them because I was desperate. We can now get rid of them and enjoy business as usual. So you can go, you can go, and you can go. Let's uh, observe the power. It should be... no, it's not even... ah, there we go. It just went back slightly. Ah, love it. That also means I can get rid of the excess solar plants that I built in order to make this look more realistic and the way I intended it. What else wasn't I happy with? Didn't I have power stuff here? I moved that. Okay, I guess that's all we can move right now. How do you not... Okay, maybe I messed up with the power line somewhere. What? You are killing me! This Is this really the reason? Okay. You know, if you don't realize that for a couple of minutes, everyone is gonna abandon their posts. And it's just gonna be crazy. 
Of course, my university also ran into troubles here, but there you go, guys. Triggered Heights, you can once again uh, prosper. Did we upgrade Neptune? I think so. What is burning here? The study hall. <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> we need one more academic work. That means we can probably fund a dissertation. We probably just won another match. I wonder, did we win? Yeah, look at that. We're crazy. Crazy bastards winning all the time. Subsidized youth. Costs 9,000 per week multiplied by number of stadiums in the city. I think I'm gonna try that out, even though it is crazy expensive, but maybe it's gonna help us in the long run. Also, can I raise the ticket prices? Hmm. Next up, I think it's time to add more water to the place here. I need more of these water towers and we are gonna make it easy on us. I just wanna, let's see, this is probably already enough space to set up another row. So I can place one here, easy peasy. Let's see if that is enough. I, I mean, I don't want to pay for stuff that I don't need, right? Uh, it's not very much in the green. I'm gonna add a second one, and now we're also gonna need more of these inland water treatment plants. I'm done using the echo water treatment plants. I don't want to produce any more water than necessary right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is add another water treatment plant here. However, I just noticed this is a little bit close to the water. Uh, where is the pollution? There we go. Ah, hold on, that is insane. How are you not producing any pollution? Ah, the pollution is only seven. That's a weird number. Maybe that is because of the Eden project and these numbers adapt. So let's straighten this out just for a brief moment so that I can place another one of these. And I'm actually gonna undo all the steps that I took to make this road weird looking. There we go. Maybe adjust the recycling centers just a little bit. Okay, and the power. Bring back the power. Good stuff. Now we took care of some of our statistics here. Another thing, let me see the police. I think it's just one building here. That just doesn't make sense. But I want to get rid of this red flag here. So I'm just not going to care anymore and set up a police station here. We're not playing on a snow map, so the heating technically isn't necessary. Just, I don't understand why they implement it and then it's not necessary. But nobody's complaining about heating. However, death care and garbage are not always working phenomenally, I have to admit. Let me check my recycling center. I mean, it's pretty green, but I think what we could do maybe is add a recycling center here, though they are doing forestry. I'm not sure that is a good idea. Oh, hold on. I actually have a better idea. Let me pause the game. We want to connect these roads here. I mean, technically, this should give us an advantage. People can go back and forth from these specialized factories. Plus, I have the possibility to add another recycling center or two here in order to help out with the garbage. Next problem to address is more elementary schools. So let's check out our schools. Looks like we could use some more here, but I already placed a school here and this area is new. So they are just being educated. Still, let me get a community school in here on this road. Though this shouldn't be on the main road really. I'm gonna worry about that later. Let's also do a library. Library could go here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna set it up here in this corner. That should be good. And actually, instead of doing that, we are gonna build more residentials. So I'm gonna bring over the power just with a bunch of residentials. And they are right next to a library. Hopefully, very happy about that. Very nice. We can also see I immediately have more imports again. And I wonder if the nuclear power plant has something to do with it. Doesn't look like. So you guys, ah, okay, this is, ah, I see, my bad, my bad, I totally forgot that I did that. Neptune's trident, we need to get rid of the old town policy right there. What the old town policy sometimes does, and it is not consequent with uh, what it does, but sometimes the crematoriums cannot get their hearses started. And as soon as I take off the old town policy, we can collect all the dead people and prosper once again. By the way, we have below 15,000 vehicles and now more than ever, People are using the public transports. I'm so proud of them. But let's try to get rid of our dead people issue. And I think, yeah, that's also another reason why I'm not collecting the dead quickly enough. Another reason could be that we have, yeah, we have similar deaths and births. Deaths and births. Oh, guys, your language. You didn't always make it easy on you. Let's see this number go down. I still need to find two buildings that are already empty. This is so annoying. I mean, the larger your city gets, the more hopeless it is finding these buildings. Like, where the heck is this facility that is empty that I can enable again? I should really get the mod for that. It's hopeless. I can't find them. I just want to add a couple more hearses in order to help solve that issue. So one could go here, maybe another one there. 
think I have enough for the Olympus district as well as the womb. This also looks fine. In the industries usually nobody dies. So technically all of these things are not necessary but I built them so people are more willing to upgrade. Maybe add another hearse here. Yeah, that is good. Crematoriums all over the place. Okay, nice. We're back down to 133. I would say to wrap up this episode, I'm still gonna do a little bit of fence decorations and maybe some other props that I can find. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this result. Alrighty, I already took myself the liberty of placing a couple of fences. Of course, it is far from complete, but I need to wrap up this episode so I can get started on the editing part. So there's still a lot of cosmetic work to be done and I also wonder if I could increase the power output by adding more of these cooling towers. I'm actually not 100% sure how it works. I might have to read that up on the mod page again. So I would say to wrap this up we're gonna make it look at least a tiny bit more realistic and for that we're gonna have a look once again into our surface painting tool and of course we want to do some pavement. Now I'm not sure with the mod pack that we're using what kind of pavement this is gonna be actually let me see. Yeah this could be a problem. Uh, let me actually check that on my other industry. Did that have an impact? Oh my gosh okay it did. Darn it. I have to admit this is not the most realistic Thing that I'm seeing here. Yeah, that is a bit of a pity, but uh, considering we might be switching the texture packs again, this might not matter. And in the end, I do want the asphalt. So let's do that. Bring up the brush size and we're gonna paint the pavement here. Want to make sure everything here is covered at least up to the road. And then we probably also want to cover these guys, though I might want to bring this up a little bit. Well, I guess let's just do this roughly for now and then we can take away what's too much. Yeah, this is not the easiest task to get right. I think what I'm gonna do is use a pathway to cover this up. So we're gonna come out from here, then cross over and do the same thing here on the other side. I want to make sure this is actually connecting. This is now hopefully gonna make my paint job a little less stressful. I wonder if we're ever gonna have a vehicle activity around here. Probably not too much. Some of the roads are probably always gonna be empty. All right, I would say at this point, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.